Welcome back to Who Chose. Today on Who Chose, I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ways to enter into hydroponics. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to pot and water into this is a drain to waste system where we're introducing seedlings or mature plants into a hydroponic soilless grow media and watering hydroponic nutrient into the pots. Okay, so for me, this video was born out of necessity. Two necessities, actually. My mate Danny reached out to me yesterday and he said, Hooch, help. I need a simple solution to repot my partner's tomato plant and is just not performing in soil. I wanna make it hydro, but I do not have any time. He's right in the middle of house renovations, so he just wants a quick and easy fix for the moment before he sets up his outdoor systems. And I also need a quick and easy fix to pot out some of the excess seedlings that I have from Rob and also from the auto watering 3D printable propagation system that I designed. So we've got some really healthy seedlings here, but there's just no way that I can keep them in here any longer. This is the variety. It's an F1 variety Lebanese cucumber, but if I'm gonna use them, I need to get them into a system. Now, I could just whack together a rain gutter grow system, but we've done that a thousand times. You know how it's done. There is a little bit extra effort in it, and I think it's worth it personally. However, I kind of want to just give you like the simplest form of hydroponic system. And that is a drain to waste system. So let's throw them in some pots and I'll walk you through it. Okay, so for this, we're just gonna need some plants, seedlings or repotable plants. In fact, everything that you see in this room is drain to waste, either drain to waste or drain into self-watering planter, half, half really. So I repotted everything here from the soil-based growing conditions that they were in when I got them and planted them into hydroponics. It's all cocoa. There's some scoria on top of some of them just to minimize evaporation and to give a nice growing media look. Now with house plants, the drained away system works really well because the cocoa will only hold on to the amount of moisture and nutrient that the plant requires. I water once with nutrient for house plants and then I'll water three or four times just with a hose and that is plenty enough nutrient for these plants. Once you start seeing that they need a little bit more nutrition, you can water again with nutrient. Just go really slow on the nutrient for the indoor plants and you'll have a good time. For the grow media today, I'll be using this. This is a hydroponic grade of Coco Coya. Now, yes, it has to be hydroponic grade. The blocks to the right of it on the shelf at the hardware store, yes, they are cheaper. The reason those blocks are so cheap is because there's absolutely no processing done to the coconut fiber to remove the salts in the coconut fiber. So they're full of not good salts, not hydroponic salts, sodium chloride, sea salt, because coconut palms grow near the sea, which is going to compete with your nutrients for the CEC or the cation exchange capacity, um, which is where the nutrient essentially locks onto the cocoa and stays in the media which makes it perfect for this application. As well as having a high CEC or cation exchange capacity, the cocoa cannot be oversaturated, but it also hangs on to water really bloody well. It's like at this perfect stability of hydration for the plants, and the plants are the only thing that's really gonna dry that cocoa out. So as long as you keep up to the plant's transpiration requirements, you're gonna have a good time. You'll also need Growers pots. The bigger the growers pot, the less often you'll have to water, but the more <laughs> grow media you will need. So this is a really simple system, but it doesn't make it easy to keep on top of. If you want an easy system, you're gonna be going more complex into the wicking systems or the automatic systems, but this is a simple system that's not so easy, I guess, to maintain because you've got to be on top of the watering schedule. If you plan on upgrading this system in the future, I would highly recommend putting holes in the bottom of the pots. Then if you decide to go a little deeper into maybe a auto refill grow spark hydroponic system, 
you can do that. So for me, I'm gonna future-proof these pots just by throwing a hole in the bottom. So this is just a 32 millimeter Christmas tree bit. And these are 4.5 liter pots. So now we're at the part where we're going to plant into our pots. For me, I'm gonna be filling up my pot with cocoa. Danny, what you wanna do is take your pot off your plant, remove as much dirt as possible. Now you don't have to remove it all, just as much as possible. If you're comfortable with washing the roots off, wash the roots off, and then we're gonna reintroduce it into this hydroponic grow media. So half fill your pot up, and you're gonna place your plant in and backfill around it. Now, for me, my plants aren't very large, so I'm just gonna fully fill my pot, like so, and then we're going to introduce our plants into our pot. So I'll take one of my cucumbers, and they're fully rooted out in this perlite media that Rob has put them in, and you can see there, I've got this lovely rooted out cucumber. So I'm just gonna make a hole in the top, place my plant into the pot, and fill around. So I'm gonna pot these all up and then we're gonna water them in with full strength hydroponic nutrient. And we can take these outside to where they're gonna live. And this is where they're going to live. Now, let's go on a little side venture. These are hydroponic grapes, Pinot Noir to be specific, and this is the second year of their growth. These are drained to waste, watered. I haven't introduced you to them before, I don't think, because I've been waiting for the whole video, and this is quite exciting for me, because this here is fruit. So, we're getting fruit on the second year. All I've been doing is coming along with a watering can full of nutrient and watering the nutrient into them, sporadically at best. The rain tops up the water on occasion as well and because of the CEC, the cocoa holds onto the nutrient and I've never seen a negative impact on these plants from rain or even from their roots drying up a little bit, which you kind of want with this kind of plant. This area is going to be completely covered by the middle of summer. That is absolutely fine with me. If I get a few tomatoes and a few cucumbers through by then, I'll be happy. There are lines set up on the structure for the vines, and I'm just going to train them up some tomato training strings while these vines are taking over the rest of this pergola. Danny, I know you have some structures on the property that you can run a line from and to. So say, pretend you don't have the greenhouse as a structure that you're growing within, but you do have two structures. You can run a line between the two structures and then hang your tomato training hooks off that line and train your cucumbers or tomatoes. Any two structures will do, a tree in a tree, a tree in a house, anything. That is going to give you the ability to train your cucumbers and tomatoes up a line like this. Okay, so I'm going to set up pavers just for the pots to sit on so that they can drain without the grass growing into them. And you can see my line here running along the center of my pergola and I've got all of my pavers set up so that we can put our plants down. If you like, you can put sources underneath them. However, I've actually found that this plant here, without any catchment under it, is doing much better than the ones that I've, I've actually drilled the hole up from the bottom, and it has, um, I guess, a, a nutrient reservoir underneath it. I think the reason for this is it has more grow space, and it allows the roots to dry out, which can actually be beneficial for the plants. So there's less redundancy in the sense of like less access to water, but it actually does increase the growth rate of the plants if you have a pot that's able to be fully drained. So I'm actually gonna just go with a fully draining pot today. Now, cause I absolutely know I'm gonna regret not doing this if I don't do it right now. I'm just gonna whip a snip along this edge. This grass is gonna go crazy when it gets the runoff from this nutrient. But now I'm going to water them in with hydroponic nutrient. So Dano, 
this is where you're gonna have to actually make up the nutrient in your watering can. For me, it's a bit easier. All right, so this here is a collapsible water tank. I have been using this to store hydroponic nutrient in. It's at a convenient height and it allows me to make up a big batch, 200 liters or so of hydroponic nutrient and then just come along and dump a watering can into it. And that is my hydroponic nutrient sorted. Now, for you Dano, you'll need to measure out the calcium nitrate and the diamond white or diamond spec T, whichever it is you have. Measure it out, pH balance your water, preferably before, um, if not after. Just do it for your nine litre watering can, or you can do this system, which I do, and it's a lot easier um, in the long run anyway. You might be saying, well, we've got this reservoir, why don't we just set up an automated gravity feed version of this? To that I say, yes, when you've got more time, Danny. And we can now water in our plants. Now in a system like this, with the cocoa and just a top fed watering, we're actually looking for runoff. If you're watering with hydroponic nutrient every time, we're looking for a runoff of about 20%. If you're watering with hydroponic nutrient, every second water you watering with just water, uh, which you can do, so you can use a hose in between nutrient feeds. We don't need to really achieve any runoff. So I'm just gonna go along, water all of our pots in. I only just realized it's only 10 o'clock. So I think I'm actually gonna put these tomatoes out and water them in as well. The reason that I've set them up underneath this pergola and not just some random place in the yard is because I wanna use these. These are tomato trainers. Well, any plant trainers really. They let you string up a plant as it grows up in a vining fashion or like a tomato. This actually used to be a catio that I made for my cats when I had them. And all the lines are already there. Get these online. Um, they're not too expensive and they come in massive bulk quantities. However, I'm actually going to design a tomato trainer for my Patreons and it should be ready by the end of this video. Super simple stuff. So these plants aren't ready for this type of training yet. You can connect up your cucumbers. They will just climb the line on their own without any tomato clips, which are also a 3D print. But the tomatoes, they'll probably sustain their own weight until they're about this height. And that's when I'll connect up all of my trainers. Now, are these pots too small? Almost certainly, yes, but probably not for the reasons that you think. These plants will absolutely thrive if you're able to keep the nutrient and water up to their roots. However, I think that once they get to full size in the middle of summer with the blaring Queensland sun, these are gonna dry up faster than you can water them. You could have a larger pot size like the Pinot Noir vines behind me, or you can, set up a gravity fed irrigation system that waters a couple times a day with an automated timer. It doesn't need to be an expensive timer. And I think that's probably what I'm gonna to have to do for these plants. Rather than spend a ton of money on grow media, I'd prefer to just automate the watering cycle so that I don't have to come along and manually feed them. So this is a drain to waste system that you can set up quickly and then amend uh, or add to as the plants grow and you grow with the plants, I guess. All right, Danny. Well, I hope this has helped you a little bit with your tomato plant. And I'm really keen to get over there to WA uh, to help you set up some systems in your new house. Happy hydroponicking and I will see you next time. On Who Chose?